Hey, this is going to be a toned in 10 working on our arms and our abs. It's a classical arm spring series. So you're going to have the handy bands attached into your door and then we're going to go ahead and step away. So I want you to have your legs hip distance apart, ground down through those feet like you're doing mountain stands from yoga. And then from here I want you to draw in, press down triceps and then come forward. Pull in, shoulders are down, push down to the floor, and then come forward. And we draw in, press down, really feel those triceps, and then come forward. We pull, and pause for that tricep, and come forward. In, and down, and reach it forward. We pull, shoulders are down, chest open, feel those triceps, and that's five. We pull, chest is open, push down like you mean it, and great, in, and down, and forward, and let's have three more, and then we're going to reverse that, nice strong standing position, good, from here, push down, chest open, bend your elbows, they're pointing behind body, reach forward, if that felt like it was too much resistance, come forward a little bit, pull down, chest is open, Bend your elbows, the points of your elbows are behind body, and then reach forward, two. Pull, chest is open, head is reaching up towards the ceiling as your feet are grounding into the floor. And then bend those elbows, reach forward, four. And we pull, and very good. And straight up, feel that posture, chest is open, elbows bend, the points of the elbows pointing behind you. Nice. And let's just have two more. And last one. Very, very good. And then we're just going to go ahead and turn and face the other direction. Just checking to make sure I didn't cross them. So arms are high. Legs are hip distance apart. Pull down to your chest and bend in. Stretch your arms up. Slide the shoulders down away from your ears. And we pull down. And then you come in. Shoulders slide down, you're reaching up. If that feels too easy, you can take a small step forward. Yep. And then use the core to slowly bend those elbows. Shoulders slide down as you reach up. And it's down. Yeah. Find the focus. Reach up. Pull. And come on in. Stretch up towards the ceiling, get that range of motion in your shoulders, push down, whoa, I just lost my balance there. That's what's going on with the handy bands. The resistance is pulling you back, so your uh, core has to work to stabilize against that resistance. And up and down. So this is a really great way of getting at that core, especially if you have problems um, like with stenosis of the spine or say you have a spinal fusion. So let's put it in reverse. So we're going to push forward, really engage the core. Yeah, control those arms up and then bend. Push forward, control from the center, lengthening up, shoulders down away from your ears, bend. Push forward, engage to that core, reach those arms up, maybe a little pause there and down. Push forward, stretching those arms up, but shoulders are down, core working, and again, push forward, nice straight arms, reaching up towards the ceiling, getting good range of motion in their shoulders, and we push, and very, very good, and press it forward. Remember, you can always take off a little bit of the load by stepping back. Or making it a little harder by doing a little baby step forward. Nice. And one more. Push it forward. Find that length. Hold it. And very good. Okay, so now these next ones are a little bit different. What you're going to do is you're going to have your arms up. You're going to twist. So the ribs are trying to look behind you. Pelvis is looking forward. You're looking at the door behind you, and then five pulses with both arms forward, and that's three, and four, and five. Stretch the arms up, and then to the other side. Get those shoulders down, 
pelvis points forward. You're twisting in the opposite direction. You're really looking at that door behind you. And that's five. Stretch your arms out. Another set of five presses. Shoulders down, pelvis pointing forward, and press forward. Two, and three, and four, and five. Reach it up, twist, shoulders down, pelvis pointing forward. Don't let it rotate back towards that door. Three, and two, and one. Stretch it up. Now for three, so turn or look behind you, but keep that pelvis pointing forward, working in opposites. And very good. Shoulders down, pelvis forward, looking behind you. Pulse for three. And up, second set of three. And work at one, and two, and three. Stretch your arms up, and three, and two, and one, stretch it up. We're gonna do singles, so we're going to twist. And in, up high, and in. And that's it, to the other side. Keep that pelvis pointing forward, shoulders away from your ears. Very good. And last one. All right, so we're gonna continue with those slightly different exercises. You might have to watch this one or two more times. But so you're gonna reach up with the one arm like a mermaid stretch. So really creating length on that side. Push the pelvis forward, look back, and then go ahead and pop by punch. Two and three, four and five. And to the other side. So I'm trying to find that length. Yep, and then from here, I'm turning and looking behind me as I do that little push forward with a slightly bent elbow. And very good. Reach up, find your stretch. Try to turn and look behind you. You are really trying to create length on the other side and push it. Three, four, and five. And all the way around and again. Five, four, three, two, and one. One more time to each side. So really finding that stretch and then from that stretch, trying to turn and look towards that wall as you push forward. And very good. Find that stretch and then push and push for three more. And two and one. Nice. All right, and then from here, we're gonna step back a little bit. Legs are close together, it makes it a little bit more challenging for your balance. And then from here, we're gonna scoop forward, find a stretch in the calf muscles, and then bring it on back. And then we reach it forward and back. So you're shifting towards your toes, and then shifting towards your heels. Three, and Forward, squeezing those legs nice and tight together is four. And we're reaching and bringing it back. And soft elbows, watch that you're not locking those elbows out. And that's six. And seven. And eight. Let's just have two more. And nine and 10. Now just change it. Lean forward a little bit. Elbows are high and triceps. Stabilize through the shoulders. Try to keep both of those handles right next to one another. If this is too easy, take a little step forward. Try to get that core to turn on. Shoulders down. Humerus is stable. Push it to straight. Four, let's have eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. Small step back. Come forward a little bit. So I'm leaning into my toes a little bit. Pressure into my handles. They'll never go behind my body. And then keep that pressure into both handles as I shorten my left waistline. Nice. And then I think about lengthening that left waistline come up to vertical, and then I start to think about shortening my right. 
keeping the pressure through the handles and forward shortening through that waistline and then start to focus on lengthening and then to the other side again so shorten work that waistline keep pressure through those handles and come back up to vertical and feel like the weight is shifted somewhat forward to your toes and find the shortness then lengthen through the waistline and over to the other side that's it use that core to come back up and then shorten down through the one keep those handles being pressed forward and then start to come up to vertical two more sets so keep those arms reaching away shoulders down away from your ears shorten the waistline start to lengthen up that waistline find the tall now shorten on the other side yeah butterfly one more time to each side good find the shortness and then come on up elbows are bent leaning forward push it away and ratchet it back one two three push it away one two three push it away so it's almost like push-ups in a little bit of a lean and push two three and push two three push ratchet it back and push 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 now in reverse so ratchet and smooth in one two three and come back in one two three and come back in one two three and back in one two three and back in work it nice and smooth on the return ratchet it in thirds and one two three and return abs in and very very good all right let's go ahead and turn and face our handy bands and from here let's just go ahead and push down chest open reach the head high and then return pull down but reach high and that's two shoulder slide away from your ears if it's too much resistance small step in if it's not hard enough small step back but remember to work with good posture nice and exhale reach that head high and pull down hold it and very good four more and three more yeah pause it there feel the work when your arms are down at your hips and one more all right so now we're going to go into fencer so we're going to have our outside arm that handle is high other hand is low you're going to step out into a lunge press both arms out and then come back so we reach one arm slightly higher than your head other arm going across body and pause and then return it's almost like a photo up picture and then back and reach and back press it hold it feel how your body has to stabilize press it hold it and return push it one arm high one arm low both arms reaching though nice and let's just have one more all right i'm going to turn my back to you outside arm is high and then from here step it up and then return push free shoulders down but reaching putting that weight into that outside leg and push and return push and return step it up freeze it for your photo up 
and press it, hold it. And let's just have four more. And three more. Two more. And last one. All right, well that's it for that toned intent, focusing for sure on arms. And hopefully you felt some core there for stabilization. Awesome, have a good one.